Hey guys, it is uh, Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Missy's with me, and, and Wicket's hanging out too, so if he uh, decides to have something to say, he'll, he'll let us know, won't he? Yes, yes, he will. Uh, he was talking to the guy who was walking by a little <laughs> bit ago. And yeah, apparently. <laughs> it was entertaining. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, so it's, it's PodCamp Eve. We're actually going to be having the meet and greet here tonight, and so we're kind of preparing for that and still trying to get some other work done around that as well. So it's, you know, the usual madness going into PodCamp. Yes, uh, I think a little more so because now with the studio space, we do have other things that are going on at this point. Yeah. Um, it's been an interesting transition this year, so I'm excited. For once, I'm actually, I'm doing four sessions at PodCamp versus your what, two? Um, well, I, well, you, uh, since, since, uh, uh, some of our, our people we had earmarked, uh, were busy, uh, apparently I'm doing the keynote as well. <laughs> so that's a thing that's happening. So I'm going to chat with people there and, uh, I don't know. And, and, and mostly I think my motivation there is going to be just like, uh, helping people get the most out of the, the day and the weekend. Right. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll tell some stories, hopefully make people laugh, talk about the glory of podcasting. <laughs> the glory days of podcasting. The glory days. These are the glory days of podcasting. I mean, we've had a lot of stuff happening, but, um, you know, I think I think we have bigger stuff on the horizon as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, you dream big, I rein it in, and I build it bigger. So <laughs> Yes, there's a little more form to it, uh, which, you know... Uh, which helps things along as well. Um, but no, I I'm excited to be doing this uh, again. You know, uh, you know, I think and I'll, I'll probably talk about tomorrow. Like, you know, I, I I really see see PodCamp as a pretty important thing as far as moving things forward. As far as I'm concerned, you know. So we'll uh, we'll have some fun with it this weekend. And 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 again, a little different, a little different. To with our we're doing workshops on Sunday, which I'm excited for that. Um, which also means I only have to film Saturday. <laughs> so, cause you know, workshops, I don't know if that's worthwhile for streaming as much or anything like that. Or we could even just, you know, set up a standard thing to stream so that people can still get the tips and tricks from home. I don't know. I think they need to be there and hands on and <laughs> especially if we're dealing with people's accounts, but, uh, you know, Not true. yeah, that could, that could get a little weird. So we don't want to put that out there for the internet to see. So you have to be there. Very exclusivity coming from um, from Sunday's pod camp. Uh, you have to be there to, to kind of get the most out of it. So so it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's good working with them. And, and, and it's always, I love we sit down for our meeting with uh, uh, Point Park. And it's just like, yeah, so you guys do anything different this year? We kind of know the score. This room does this. Hey, we upgraded this room. <laughs> Those are That's always nice, too. <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's the other thing is that we know what we want from them and they know what we need from them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's it's been a nice process working with them and each year we get something bigger and better. Uh, the first year or two, I think we had really horrible Wi-Fi service mm-hmm. within the building. And, and even uh, cell service in there wasn't too great either because especially those upper rooms were very just like in the middle of the building and in the middle of a block of buildings too. So there was like no accessibility. This building used to be a bank. Mm -hmm. So like it has that much more like secure walls and different things like that. So it it made it, I think that much more difficult just based on the history of the building itself. Um, But when they upgraded their Wi-Fi, it was a glorious, glorious day. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. We got an email from them saying, Hey guys, this year's going to be awesome because we've got new Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> and they give us a dedicated Wi-Fi login. So we have our own dedicated service for the for the day as well. So we have our login. We have our information for, for our users. And it's great. Um, yeah. And, and, and a lot of really cool sessions uh, coming up here. I know you, you've you gone through <coughs> and, uh, and and selected a lot of like really cool stuff from the uh, – from from the submissions as well, um, is there anything you from what everything you were reading? Like, who who are you most looking forward to see how their their session kind of turns out here? Well, that's funny that you mentioned that because again, I'm teaching like four sessions, and mm-hmm. some of the ones that I wanted to do 
run they they coincide with with mine and they you even, scheduled them and you still <laughs> well here's the funnier thing i scheduled them and when i put the schedule together i had flip-flopped one of the sessions and when mm. i when i was starting to look at things and kind of let the speakers know that this is when you're going to be speaking i realized i had myself speaking at the same time in two different rooms mm-hmm. so it's it's a process it, it absolutely is and it's something that you know we work for each year um, I'm just pulling up the schedule right now. Yeah, so me I can... too. Me too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, there's some really good stuff like self promotion is not a sin, blogging, social media, and event promotion, like like things like that. You know, I I, I think that's really important because people are kind of concerned with like, oh, I'm I'm going to be the one that's always bugging my bugging everybody to to watch my thing or listen to my thing, and it's like, well, yeah, you have to to a certain point, right? You have to get it out there for people. So, well, the the ones that I was kind of interested when I saw them come across. Um, how to get a meeting with anyone. Uh, this guy's had meeting, you know, he's had people on his podcast, um, you know, local celebrities and like big name people. And it's just a matter of asking people for the most part. Um, so that that's kind of one that I was interested in, in checking out. And that's across from my options for monetizing your podcast session. So I'm not going to actually be able to see that. Which is why I'm also thankful that we record them so that we can put them Absolutely. back and have it later on for to to check out later. Uh, and that's and, and that's always been. Well, I'll get back to the streaming, but there, there, there's also um, I, I think this is your buddy that you is this your buddy that you're telling me about before using social media as immersive theater. Yes, that is because you're telling me about some of the concepts. You had a meeting with these with these people over over what they've been doing. And I'm really looking forward to see like how that I'm hoping I get a chance to pop into that session. Yeah, that one. Um, my friend Albert, who I worked with for Startup Weekend uh, four or five years ago now at this point, mm-hmm. um, he hit me up and he's like, yeah, I've got this new project that I'm working on and I'd love to talk to you about it. So he came in and essentially what they do is they do a theater production involving Facebook. So they, the characters have their Facebook profiles and they interact with each other through Facebook and essentially people friend them on Facebook as like the audience friends them on Facebook and they do some video stuff. They do some social media posts and they play out this story across social media and it's, it's a five day presentation and then it comes together for like a video thing at the end and it's cumulative so it's it's the characters as well as the audience coming together for for this thing at the end and it was a really cool concept so like when they came in to talk to me i was like absolutely you should you you should make sure that this gets in for pod camp Mm -hmm. they submitted it and i think it's going to be an awesome integration because it's it's an interesting use of social media that i've not seen before uh, some good stuff uh, around podcasting too. Why why good sound matters with Kevin Farkas. Uh, yeah, that's that's cool. No, that, that, that that's really good. And it's really hard to get good sound because how many of us have you know one of these uh, blue snowball mics in a in our dining room or or something and it's just super echoey, right? And these are these these are like forty fifty dollar mics and I think they're amazing for you to get started on podcasting. Bobby uses it and it actually sounds pretty good from his. Uh, from his place in Johnstown when he joins us on Wrestling Mayhem show. But, you know, things like that and, and, and understanding mic technology and everything um, so you know what you're getting. Like, you know, very part, we're, very, we're lucky that we already had the particular mics that would work well in here because it's a fairly large echoey room and it doesn't seem to come across much on the recordings and the, the Facebook Lives that we've been doing. Well, the other thing that we do is the, the nice wall behind Sorg over there. It helps. With the, with the baffling, helps. that absolutely helps. <laughs> Um, there was a massive difference once we got that up on the walls oh, yeah. from the first couple of podcast days that you had in here. Plus, it was so stark and white when we originally had it, so it was, it, it was really nice to kind of dress up the walls, too. Yeah. So. We look grown up over here in Beach, you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so cool. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was wondering what the dog was doing. Um, yeah, the other, the other interesting session, I think, was that self-awareness and building a personal brand. You had a conversation with the speaker about that presentation. I did. Yeah. He was very interested in, and he had, had some really cool ideas about, 
um, kind of self-image and things like that. So that and, and kind of a self-confidence thing. So I think that one's going to be a little bit more on the motivational side. But let's be honest, like I, I as somebody has done this for for near, nearly 12 years, like you kind of need the motivation to keep going. Right. And it does get hard. And I think the thing that that, that separates uh, successful and unsuccessful people from us are the ones that like kind of gave up in between. And I'm hoping that maybe sparks a little bit because I mean, that's the biggest uh, not complaint. But problem I have is when people come, have this idea, we're going to do this, this, and this, and this, and you know, sit down, and we help them kind of spell out their idea and everything like that, and we see them next year at PodCamp, did you ever start the thing? He was like, no, I never got around to it. You know, it's just that, that, that kind of like motivation that kind of starts the project. That's why I always say, hit record, see if you even like it when it comes to podcasting. Yeah, since, since we're talking about the PodCamp stuff, I'm just going to push people to the website, <laughs> podcamppittsburgh.com, <laughs> because I actually just posted a uh a post this morning happy pod camp pittsburgh eve Mm -hmm. and it breaks down some of the great information that we've got going on for the weekend and like we've mentioned before we're doing the meet and greet at our studio tonight absolutely and the coolest thing about that is that we're going to get a bunch of people coming in to just kind of meet and greet (laughs) so it's it's old faces that we haven't seen in a while and and i love that we'll be able to you know because i mean there's a bit definitely a bit of a vision behind this place and give give a look at hopefully not a too intimidating look at it but a little bit of like hey this is what podcasting can be is this kind of setup right um and you know obviously we go a little bit above and beyond that so we have a dog that just like kind of hangs out behind you over there and (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but uh you know it's kind of an aspirational thing too and i hope uh i hope that helps spark some people's interest so well and the other cool thing is like we're gonna have and it's it's not just the podcasting thing it's also a nice get together you know so we're, we're gonna have some wine i'm gonna go pick that up a little bit later mm-hmm. and we've actually got noblestein brewing company coming in and they've they're gonna be bringing a couple of i think half kegs of of uh some beers they've done. So we're going to have a jubilant haze, which is a Vermont IPA that they're doing and Mallard's landing. It's an extra special bitter that they're bringing in. So even something cool like that to, to have the community involved aside from the podcasting aspect of it. So it's, it's going to be kind of fun. Uh, as far as the event itself, like, so we're going to be kicking off tomorrow morning. Uh, Sorg's going to be doing our keynote in some capacity mm-hmm. and then we're going to be doing our sessions after that, there's a we we have a plethora of of post pod camp options for tomorrow night as well, because uh, Brian over at the Rivers Edge is doing a pod party over in Millvale. Uh, so if you want to travel over to Millvale, that's an option. Uh, if you wanted to keep it local, like we usually do, I'm sure that our organizers are going to be putting together something. Uh, the Tavern Two Four Five that we've done in the in the past couple of years mm-hmm. is no longer a thing. They, they were bought out, I think, by somebody Aww. else. So I don't know whether that's up and running yet, but Amanda and Steve from Bold Nights Out, they can totally hook us up with, hey, we should go check this place out type of thing. Um, usually it's pretty casual, so we get a group of people together like, hey, let's finish the conversation. Let's go check this out. Mm-hmm. Um, Unfortunately, we will be running because we, we have a job tomorrow night. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody's making us work. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get a replacement in, so uh, somebody else had... Plan so uh, that we will be uh, departing directly from PodCamp to West Newton for RWA filming. So hey, you know when you when you run a business, that's what you have to do, right? Yes. So yes. But anyways, we scheduled PodCamp first, officially. To be fair, we did. We did. We did. We did. But yeah, so if you don't see us in the next couple of days know that we're still alive mm-hmm. we're, we're doing all the podcasting things um, and even the streaming I, I i'm i'm kind of excited for the streaming because i feel like um uh yeah, like we're not bringing the whole setup for uh the live switch like we did last year uh because we just you know talk about hill topless we just you know that that just got updated over at work hard and it's just a lot for just one room so what we're doing is these actually these vixias which we're actually using temporarily here in the studio before i get some other cords to hook up our, our higher end cameras um are amazing for this kind of stuff we're going to hook them up we're going to hook up a mic in each of the room um or to the house house mic in uh, in the main room 
and uh, in the in the auditorium, and that it's going to stream. Uh, and it's really like it is probably the lowest profile setup I'll have to do, and probably the lowest maintenance I have to do because I used to run around and just switch tapes on everything, <laughs> like every every hour. Um, so it'll be great to just kind of hit record and go. Um, just a few logistics I got to figure out. We're going to be testing equipment today to double check, but um, and get everything packed up here. Uh, so we don't forget it all in the morning, but, uh, no, I'm really excited for that. And we're excited to, uh, especially last year when we went all digital, um, or the last couple of years when we went all digital, we were able to put those sessions up pretty quick because they're pretty much in the can, right? Yeah. So. And that's, that's one of the other things. Like I've, I've had a few people reach out because unfortunately we're going to be missing out on, on some attendees on Saturday because of Yom Kippur, mm-hmm. which, you know, I feel bad, but we give yeah, we, we only we have we only so many dates available. Yeah, we and, only have so much flexibility, unfortunately. Yeah, scheduling with with a large facility like Point Park, you know, it's mm-hmm. just one of the things that it happened to fall on that on this weekend. Um, so I know that a lot of our our Jewish constituency, they're happy because they can go back on Sunday and they can look at it, or they can go back next week and they can look at the videos and still be part of the PodCamp experience, um, which is really cool. Uh, we had some people from Germany checking in for the live stream the year before last, I believe. Cause when we were looking at the analytics on everything, it was like, wait, what? Wow. We have, we have people from Germany checking in. Um, I remember that conversation. It was, it was entertaining. So it's, it's really interesting. The fact that we have social media ingrained with the PodCamp experience between the live interactions like that with the, the live streaming as well as the hashtag, so, you know, hashtag PCPGH2017. Can I bring up, can I bring back hashtag with the hands? Hashtag. No, it's no. not happening. Even the dog's looking at me funny on that one. Yeah. We're, we're judging you. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting to see how PodCamp has evolved and grown yet stayed the same in some capacity. <laughs> he just has... He's just chilling. All right. Well, we'll see you guys at the meet and greet, of course, tonight if you're joining us. Or, of course, if you're anywhere else, all the video will be up on PodCamp Pittsburgh. Go to the Facebook page for PodCamp for the streams. I'm pretty sure all that's going to work. And I might play with a little bit since we do have Restream. I only have so much we can do with Restream. But uh, maybe we can, maybe I'll put a room on Periscope. You never know. You never know. Or maybe I'll turn on uh, the stuff here and, and stream tonight's meet and greet. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, please, uh, if you uh, found us here and don't always get to check us out on the uh, Facebook Live, you can find Basic Sorgonomics in our Sorgatron Media Master Feed on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, wherever you find your uh, podcast uh, needs. I guess not Spreaker for the Sorgatron Media Feed, uh, but uh, iHeartRadio, Google Play. Um, or you can look up Basic Sorgonomics on your podcast places. And uh, we also put the videos over on YouTube. There's a Basic Sorgonomics channel over there, too, if that's the way you like to. The dog is just looking at the side of your head, it looks like. It's just, it's like, oh, nope, nothing happened here. Uh, yes, thanks, I'm, like, guys. Checking my emails and stuff. We'll see you next time. Basic Sorgonomics.